Hello my friends, Mark Thomas the Home Builder. Today I am doing a follow-up video to the original Milwaukee portable radio, the M12. I'm going to show you how to go through and thoroughly program it, adjust the clock, and a friend of mine, John, uh, that I used to work with, he is a generation older than me and he said, you know Mark, my generation does not like to read instructions. They'd rather have someone show them how to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just show you simply how to adjust the clock and how to adjust the station presets. So let's go through and check out first how to do the clock. Okay, so if you look at the bottom side of right there, there's a screw, you take that out. I have a number one Phillips head. It's kind of a smaller one, so I'd use a smaller Phillips screwdriver. And All right, take that little tab off and then they give you two AAA batteries and you make sure you put them in the correct way and that one goes there. All right, now put that tab back in, screw it in place and these AAA batteries will hold your preset so if you unplug it then the clock will you know, keep the correct time. And all right, you don't want to go too, you don't have to really reef on it. So just nice and snug. All right, so I'm going to plug it in, in the back with the AC adapter that comes with it. All right, let's adjust the clock and turn it on. 509. So you press and hold the clock button. All right, the number four right there is flashing. I'll click it over to five, hit the clock button again because five is the correct time. And now the other ones are flashing so I can go down or actually go up. It was set like at 555. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm just going to scroll up to five. I'll put it like a minute fast. 510, hit the clock button again and it's done. There is an AM and a PM which is cool. So let's uh, go back to that a minute. Five, boom, ten. So if you, if, let's just say it was 5 a.m. This is what you do. When the five is there, as you scroll through, there's one a.m., two, three, four, five. If it was actually 5 a.m. right now, which I'm usually not up that early ever, then you would hit the clock button. But since it's 5 p.m., I'm going to scroll to 5 p.m., hit the clock button. It's 5.10. It's probably 5.11 by now. I don't mind being two minutes fast. Hit the clock button. There. Your clock is set. Let's go through the preset. It's actually uh, pretty easy to do. And let's get a nice close-up view of this radio. And I've got the radio turned down quite a bit. I don't think YouTube really likes when you play regular music on it. So I'm just going to have the... Alright, I'm going to turn it on. There you can see it's kind of lit up. Hopefully you can see that pretty windy so sorry if you get some wind noise. So what I'm going to do is go uh, to my local station. I'm going to start to the lowest number which is 88.1. That's the station I listen to. So I've actually tuned this in manually. Right there 88.1. I'm going to press and hold the preset button. And now there's a little box that says preset. And you can go one through, let's see, 6090. Okay so one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a total of nine presets, which is quite amazing. I don't know if you even listen to that many stations in your area. So go to preset number one and hit the preset button, and there it's saved. Now, my next station that I listen to, I'll go to 94.1. So I'm going to just keep, well, maybe I can hold it down. Probably works faster. Uh, no, I guess not. Just keep slowly going. Well, latest album, the best. All right, I'll go to 92.1. That'll be my second one. So I press and hold the preset button. There, the preset box is blinking. I don't know if you can really see that in here. And I'll click over to two. That's preset number two. Hit preset, and now that stopped blinking. So now I go to my third station which will be 
All right, for some reason when I held the button down, it scrambled pretty fast over to it. It didn't seem like it was doing it before. Maybe I didn't hold the button fast enough. So this would be preset number three. So I hold the preset button, and now it's blinking preset two, which was the last station. I toggle over to the right preset three, hit preset, it stop blinking. The next station is pretty close, 94.9. This is like a classic rock station. And I'll hold the preset button down. And that's going to be my preset number four. And now I made that little box say number four, hit preset again. And you just keep going through. I'll do one more just to uh, get to 97.5. That is uh, my oldest son's favorite station. It's uh, Pop Radio. So it says 97.5. I'm going to press and hold the preset. And it has preset number four blinking, which was the last one. I'll go over to number five. And then it's blinking preset five. Hit preset again. There, I'm done. So now if you just scroll through the preset button, that's how six, seven, eight, nine. Those are not preset yet, but you probably just want to go through and uh, so now I go to preset 1, that's that station 88.1, hit again, toggle, preset 2, 92.1, preset 3, 94.1, preset 4, 94.9, just like I liked, like to have it. So uh, maybe there's a station you don't really like, um, or you could have the same station preset again, so, since there's 9. But to get through all your stations, you just keep pushing that preset button. Alright, hopefully, is that easier than the instructions, I hope? Please let me know, and please comment and subscribe. All right, so it's been a couple weeks now that I have owned this radio, and I'm thinking it's pretty awesome. I really enjoy listening to like football games and baseball games, and I can't play regular radio through it because I don't think YouTube likes the uh, uh, when you play music that's if you don't have authorization. So I do own this song right here. I, purchased it. It's royalty-free music. All right. On my iPod. What do you think, Grayson? Thumbs up? How's it sound? We get a thumbs up? No? There we go. <laughs> yeah.